welcome to Joanne's Sweet and Savory Creations. Today or tonight, I'm going to do for you 7-Up Cake. I don't think I have a video on 7-Up Cake. I have lemon pound cake. I have chocolate cake. I don't think I have 7-Up Cake. So, if you're not subscribed to my channel, please do so. Um, those who are still hanging in there with me, Thank you so very much. I totally appreciate it. So we're just going to get right into this recipe. Because I have, this is part, this is the, one of the last desserts for my bake sale that I have been doing all last week. Okay. So as you see, I was putting three cups of sugar. I'm going to go through these ingredients real quick. So in this bowl, I have three cups of sugar. I have five eggs here, room temperature. I have butter here, which I have to cut. It's room temperature as well. I have some vanilla, pure vanilla extract. And uh, lemon, um... Extra. I forgot my train of thought that quick. And also, I do put a little sour cream, which I should have had it at room temperature, in my cake. Um, and also, of course, one cup of 7-Up. So let's get into this recipe. I'm going to measure out my butter here. See, I need one four. So that's about be like two sticks of butter. And we're just gonna cream this together with the sugar. And then we're gonna add our eggs one at a time. my flour down so I miss you guys I have been planning I just recently got engaged um, well I've been kind of engaged for a little while we already had asked me but I just got my ring so I'm gonna show you guys my ring and um, I am happy the wedding will be next year in June so I've been preparing for it already because everybody know how weddings can be expensive and if you want it right and detailed you got to start early I had a co-worker of mine he was laughing laughing at me because I started right away looking for venues and ideas of what I wanted and I just told him I'm like you, you have to start early if you don't you're gonna miss out because uh, by being a June wedding time slots for venues and everything go real quick and because a lot of people didn't wasn't able to get married last year during the COVID. A lot of them is trying, you know, to do it now. So, in this bowl, I'm going to wipe my hands. I'm going to cream together the sugar and the butter. And then, I'm going to start. I'm not going to be on here long with the mixer because I know it's loud. But, I'm going to just cream this together. All the first and then bring the spoon up.
turn the bowl as you mix it. Next egg, and you just want to beat these one at a time. Now you want to alternate when you are 
mix in your flour. You want to begin with flour and you want to end with flour. Usually, I just got off work, so I'm blending everything as I, doing everything as I go. But normally I would have all of this already measured out and everything, so bear with me. So you need three cups, so in my measuring cup, I'm going to put three cups of flour. I'll open this other part. There we go. And make sure I get this first. Three cups of flour. Then you want to take your hand, which I didn't do with the first one, but this one is perfect, so I don't have to do that one. And I just kind of shake it a little bit. One more. And right, you want to bake this cake on 325 until your cake is ready. You can insert two sticks. You can, I usually take my hand and I push down on the cake. And if it springs back all the way around, y'all, then it's ready. You want to make sure because sometimes you think it's ready and it's really not. It's, it might not be done all the way in the middle. That's happened to me. Trust and believe. Like I say, sometimes we make mistakes too. So I'm going to add flour. Like I said, you begin with flour and you end with flour. And then in this cup right here, I'm going to measure out one cup of 7-Up. And I was just telling someone today, I said, you really can't taste the 7-Up, really. To me, you can't. You really can't taste the 7-Up. Okay, so I'm going to mix all this in. Start it on low, and then bring it up. got to have this room temperature but you really want all your ingredients room temperature so I'm just gonna add a dollop just like that one tablespoon dollop okay and then we're going to mix the rest of this and when I come back I will show you the next step all right now okay i am back so now my cake is mixed up all yummy i'm going to take my uh baker's joy give it a little shake there's enough here and um make sure you spray it all over i'd rather overdo it and then it not have enough the end of that. So guess what? I gotta buy some more. Okay, so we're just gonna put our cake in here. We're gonna bake this 
for about close to an hour at 325 and you just want to <coughs> excuse me we just want to make sure it goes in even oh I smell that lemon y'all I smell that lemon turn it and just make sure it goes in all the way in make sure it's all the way around even as much as you can but i always uh to make sure i shake the um pan to make sure it's even and this is for one of my customers uh, take pride in my work I don't play no games if I feel like I cheated you out of your product I try to make it up but it's just not me you know people can make mistakes too but that's not me and I know how to count so that being said I'm just going to leave I don't know. Well, we're going to get this batter. Finish getting this batter in here. And then I'm going to show you how I'm going to make the glaze for this cake. Okay. Oh. Yeah, take your spoon kind of kind of smooth it out some like that turn it and smooth it out okay mm -hmm. okay now I'll shake it a little bit make sure it's even give it two taps oven is heating up while my oven is heating up I'm going to make the uh, glaze so you just need some powdered sugar I don't put a lot in mine because I don't like it too sweet but if you want you can do it how you want I'm going to get the lemon juice Okay, so this is a quick um, recipe, real quick. Doesn't take long at all to make. Um, where is my cups? I'm just going to use this little one just to get it in here. Okay. So, the recipe is, it calls for uh, one cup, but I'm not using one cup. Like I said, I think that's just a little too sweet. I don't like real sweet uh, icing. So, oh and then you use two tablespoons of lemon juice and just mix it in now I'm going to add you know I'm always adding something a little more lemon juice. Okay. I'm going to add um, about a teaspoon of vanilla y'all know I always I want something different. So I want the icing, the glaze to have the same flavor as the cake. Okay. And I'm 
I'm going to take my whisk and kind of just whisk this all together to the smooth. And when the cake comes out of the oven, and it's been cooled a little bit, you can either put it on there right away, or you can let it, you can let it cool. So, and you just want to make sure that you mix this up all good. Just want to make sure she got enough. Make sure she has enough ladies to go on her plate. You can also do this with milk. I'm just doing it just like this today. Okay. All right. Yeah, that's good. If I need more, I make more. And let me taste it. Let's see. I just taste the light. you see me this cake will be out of the oven and I'll be putting the glaze on it so I'll see you when I come back all right now okay my cake is out of the oven I am back I'm just going to make sure again that my glaze is all the way mixed up cake split a bit right here I don't know why but I'm just gonna put the glaze over the cake take my spoon spread it over the cake like so just gonna spread it all over the cake Like that and when it harden it'll harden even so I want to make sure I get all of it oh that looks good y'all so make sure I get it all over I'm just, just going to spread it out even again. Okay. I'm make sure I get all this glaze on this cake, y'all. Take a picture of this beautiful cake, and this smells so good. And it's very important, y'all, when I know, I think my sister, my older sister, she likes to cut the cake as soon as it come out the oven well you're really supposed to let it rest because believe it or not the cake still be cooking the eggs and all that it still be cooking so that's why they tell you to let it completely cool before you start digging in it Sure, all the glaze is on here. Okay, so there we have it my 7 up cake with lemon glaze. I hope my customer enjoys it as much as I enjoy doing it. Just a little more on the edges here. Mm. Make me want some, y'all. I guess y'all says you're making sure all this good. Yes, I am. All right. So, again, from Joanne Sweet and Safe Creations, if you want to see more recipes like this, please hit your girl up. 
again from me. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.